Hello, hello, hello. Welcome everyone to Jet TV. I'm J Lab and this is Football Manager 2021 in the Youth Academy Challenge. And we are in our first ever playoffs. And I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea how this is gonna go. We could be knocked down the first game against Tuemo, which we actually need to win. Because if we draw, they go through because of the highest seed. And given our recent record against them with four defeats and one draw in the last five matches, we're likely going to be knocked out here. But it is what it is. We've only got 23k as well in our accounts, which is concerning because we lost 1.3 million. But that being said, we did kind of spend a bit of money to, re to upgrade our facilities. And I think that's probably where we've lost most of our money. Once we get the sponsorship coming in, be 1.6 million, we might be good. We, 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 we might be good. How much have we spent this season? Just expenditures as a whole. Uh, 4.6 million apparently. We're already up by 7,000, but I think most of that is from the youth facilities. Yeah, youth setup is about almost a million by itself. So, yeah, that's an issue. <laughs> that's an issue. And um, projection for next coming years is gonna, it's not exactly improving. So, new owners might hate me at this point because I pretty much forced, I pretty much said, yeah, do you want to do this? Why not? Either way, we've not got any previews to do. This is literally just going to be the first of many matches um, that we potentially could win or be in. If we win this game, we face against Luchesas, Libertas, and Ponte Derby. So, yeah, this this could be very bad. Because we don't have a great record against either team. And I just want to do well, to be honest with you. And it's an, at least we're not for Mena and Tristina, who have to play as Perugia if they go through. So, yeah. Silver linings, I suppose, is something we can at least claim we've got. Either way, we're expected to do badly. They want to go defensive. I... I'm just going to go for the team that's I've worked with me. But then he's not a winger, is he? Like, he's not a fullback. Like, not a wingback, but he's still good enough to play as a wingback. And it's surprising. I mean, if we work in his dribbling, and yeah, he'll be really good at it. But he's got a lot of things I like about him. And he's only 16 too. 15. He's only 15. And he's already got a goal for us in his first five matches. I think, for me, that's a very good sign. If it, Even if his average rating is just 6.52. He's got better potential than... Any of other fullbacks, so that's all I've got to say. Even if DBS is not exactly improving either. He's improving, but he's not that great. But he's only 19, so I'm going to give a lot of talent an opportunity to shine. And whether or not we do well with it, I really don't know. They want us to play Nicotre. I'm not, I'm not taking Nicotre out of the defence, okay? And I'm not playing Rokas either, because Rokas is not a good deep line forward. He's got one. He's only got one in passing. That's not what I want in a player like that, but... Let's see how we do in this game and just hope for the best. If we lose, we'll just go to the end of the season roundup and we'll just look at it from there. Okay? We got a goal kick and we're going to play to Kamenetti, who's played it forward. Just to find Kalamai. Not the best, was it? They kind of got us trapped in our own half at the moment and it's not a good sign. And again, Sokolov has got the ball. He's played in the middle. He's actually been. Very unlucky, I suppose we could say, with 1-0 down. Sensori is in front. They want us to go defensive. I don't want to go defensive. It's kind of probably for my own detriment I'm not going to go defensive. But I don't want to go defensive in this game. Because we're not expected to do well. We've got nothing to lose at this point. Well, apart from the chance to get, apart from the chance to get promoted. But this is literally the first time in our six-season spell here that we've actually got to this stage. If we lose, we lose. It's not the end of the world. And... We just got to improve as we get another highlight. Hopefully, we just don't give the ball away like last time. That's better. We actually get the ball. And Kalamai's actually on the ball this time. He's found Antonucci. Kalamai again, who's actually more of a winger, but we played him as a midfielder. DPSC, oh, he's not going to get that, is he? They pounced on him quickly. I think we're trying to be too slow. And the chance they had there is I'm going to go for balance now, I decided, because I don't like the fact we're not doing as well as we could do. We've got possession, but that's about it. We're not going to win anything, we're just possession, are we? Let's be honest. I got a throw. This is the first thing they've started to highlight with the ball, but Scapato gets a tackle in. Now that's good. But uh, Jamele is going to get the ball. We get the ball back. Okay. I thought we were going to do something. Gavin Nunes is on the ball. Kanamai plays a full forward. Scapato. Aluni's not going to get to that first. I was struggling if he would have done, but his DPSC. He's playing in the middle. Aluni. Equalizer. Yes. We've, actually, we've equalized. Yes. Okay, maybe this is game on. We just need another goal and we'll be going through. We can't draw. If we want to go through, we cannot draw. So going from positive to balance might be what we need to do here. 
Is he on site? Oh, he's clearly on, isn't he, Shorty? I mean, it's off, but is Ali only on? They won't even show it, will they? They will show. Okay, I think he's on side. Oh, he's clearly on. Yeah, he's clearly on. Good. I mean, you won't see it, but he, apparently, according to the lines, he's clearly on side. Yay! Can we do more? They got the ball, and it seems like whenever someone starts the ball, it sends a bit of light against them, and I don't know what that was about, but DPS did not do well. Nick Trace played forward, and. Gabato is going to try and get to this and not give us a lot of problems last time we played against him now. I think he got the two goals open to score. I mean, for them, Antonucci, uh, Gabato on the ball, Gabriel Nunes, on Gabato, DPS, he's already got an assist to his name, plays in the middle. Scapato's made it 2-1. So going from positive to balance has worked a treat. Who would have thought that just changing the mentality would do a world of good? Yeah? We're two one up. We're coming from one 0 down. I am just taking this one game at a time because I'm expecting to lose, and I don't expect much more than that. Either way, good stuff. We're two one up. Can we do more? Oh, it's a free kick. Who's going to take this? It's Capato. He can. I think he can score free kicks. Yes, he can. <laughs> He's just made it free. Okay, this is good. This is really good. We actually could, We might actually be winning this game. I can't quite believe this. If you told me we could be 3-1 up after we 1-0 down in this game, I would have taken that 100%. We've made two changes. They've got a free kick now. Sensori heads it away. Uh, I think Alioni, look at that. I tell you what, if we're going to chase the ball down this much, then this is a good, good sign. I think we can do more than this. I really do. It's just a matter of making sure we can do it, right? Kamanetti gets the ball away. Santoro is on the ball. If we can get a fourth, it'd be good. If they get a second, though, then it's not as comfortable. But Alioni on the ball. He's not going to get to that. If he could have gone to that, it'd be great. But he's not going to get to it. They're going to play his forward and they're going to get an opportunity, aren't they? Is he, he's on side. And sorry, the nine bit of goalkeeper, I thought that was off. I really did. But apparently it's not. Another opportunity and Nadozo keeps it. Okay. I'll tell you what. Despite me saying I wasn't going to change my way of thinking, I wasn't going to change from positive to balance or from positive to downwards in an idea, we went to balance mentality and it just worked wonders. It really did. So this is a good sign. I wasn't expecting a win. I'll take the fact we took a 3-1 win here and we're through to the next round. Who would have thought that we could do that in a cup like this, eh? A chance to get promoted. Can we do go further than this? Who knows? The fact nobody gave us a chance either is quite good. And this is what I mean when I say the home advances is very important. But then only have gone through because they were the home team, despite the fact they drew, as have Pharrell P. Salo. So we'll be facing off against either Luchessas, Libertes, and I can't remember the other team. I, yeah, I don't know who the other team was. But we'll finish the next round. We're going to see what happens. And we'll be right back for the next game. Okay? Okay. We're now here in the next game. And we're playing against Ponderdary in the Liga Pro. This is literally just the Liga Pro. Not even because of anything else. But we are now here hoping that we can do something against this team. We've not beaten against... We've not, we've not won against him in the last four matches. Which is a bit surprising. We've got... DBS is out due to uh, illness. I'm actually going to drop him to the bench. Not actually dropping out right, but dropping to the bench. But I will probably bring Danny onto the bench to replace him on the bench. So it's practically an unchanged side apart from that. So if we can keep the run going, then yes, we could potentially say we are going to be one of the better teams in the division right now. I'm excited because I'm just going to be honest. I wasn't expecting to get this far. So we've already done better than expected. Let's see what we can do against Pontadere in the Liga Pro. And I hope we can get all three points. Uh, all three points. If we draw, we're through to the next round because we're the home team. So already advances to us in that regards. It's just a matter of making sure we can keep going, isn't it? And I'm excited we can do it. They got an opportunity already. They we got told to go to from positive to balance and it worked last time. I'm going to go for positive again just to see if that does make a difference because I want to see where we can go from here. Try to go attack or Interesting. I think Alioni is trying to make the tackle there, but we're definitely very much keeping and pressing on them. 
We need to make sure we don't get caught out by a long ball for the top. And they're going to go for a long ball up at some point because they're going part the bus as well. And it's going to be very interesting to see how this works. But they've got the ball now. They're looking for the gaps. And it's a gap now. We've got the ball back. But we've given the ball away needlessly though. And I think we're going to have to go balanced here after this highlight because they're doing well. And that's surely offside. I even knew that was offside. As soon as you, it was, the ball was played through, it just, you knew it was off, right? I mean, that's not even close. But yeah, the only player in the penalty area, and it was him. So we knew as soon as it was the ball was played, it was offside. They got a free kick. They've gone for it. It's been blocked by the wall. I might, I want to see how nice Hullet goes out because if we don't do anything, okay, I'm only going to play for the Scott Batter. So this could be the positive mentality, maybe, when we need to do here. Penalty, very good for us. Nunes to take. Is he? I want to see. Is he, is he the best? Oh, he's say the best penalty to take. Is he the only one that's got that good of ability? Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Gabriel Nunes. There's more than a few doubts about that decision. Okay. So Nunes to take the penalty. And he scores it. We're 1 0 up. Okay. It's his third of the season. I think we might. <laughs> if this continues, we're going to go through the third round. I, I can't quite believe we can actually say that, but he's actually straight at the keeper, but he's, the keeper couldn't keep it out. See, there's too much power behind it. It's now starting to realise, um, because it's practically cut football, knockout football at this point, that it feels like we're better, and it says a lot. But then again, they got a throw now, and I want to say that this is a potential to be really good for us. That might, if it doesn't... That ball over the top... Got to his team. Oh, what are you doing? What was my team doing? He's just like, defender came to stop, keeper came out, and shouldn't have been that, wait, should be the defender dealing with that, not the goalkeeper, I feel, and that's, hmm, let's look at this again. I genuinely think the defender has, he's got, he's the furthest man ahead, and he just stops. What an idiot. Immediately, there's a highlight, and we've not gone, we've got to go to balance, I think. I don't trust my team anymore to keep themselves, oh, do anything stupid and that says a lot but uh, we're gonna concede aren't we because i didn't change anything at half time and because i told the players i had faith that they could do well and we've, we've been the better team and to be honest with you we have been the better team at times but we're not being the best we've had many opportunities that we've wasted as well and i'm concerned now this well that's not gonna concern me let's go back to positive but Binny, i have faith he's not gonna do anything stupid he's played the ball forward to find alioni um, I can't blame for that. I, I'm i going to be saying I got a bit of a soft spot because he's only 15 right now, but we get the ball back. Fantosi, I don't have a soft spot for you. You're going to do that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That is such a stupid pass to make. What are you doing, Fantosi? You're supposed to be the best player. You do a pass like this? Why would you think that was a good pass to make? My God. That is a stupid, stupid pass. We've got last gas opportunity. 90 minutes in. I've gone very attacking because I'm just desperate at this point. Kadamai goes for goal. He's put it wide. And we're out. I... Mm, this hurts a bit more because if it wasn't for the stupidity of the goals, I would not be upset. But the fact that we were... We just made some stupid, stupid passes. That's the what lets us down at the end. Nativity. We're still young. The practice a very young squad at this point. Like I think only Nardos is the only player over the age of thirty at this point, which tells up uh, Nunes. Nunes and Nardos are the only play, two players over the age of thirty. That was Nunes' last of a game too. I was not that that is just That is such a weak performance and we're out. Ah. Uh... What a way to go. What a way to go. Bugger. We did the exact opposite we did last time. That was, we took the lead, but we didn't get the lead. For the love of God. All right. I'll be back in a bit. Okay. End of season with you. This is good. We've got confetti falling. Everything's been achieved. And here's something. I'm actually going to show you this because I've literally did make a point of saying this now, but... 
We let Luca Forte go at one point in the season. He's actually gone to Toto, as did Giorgio Vianney. And yeah, they were upset. The board was upset that I didn't get anything for money wise for Forte, but I just, he was complaining. I wasn't going to give him much more than that, and he wanted to go. Same with Viviani, he was never going to get much. He played 10 times for them on the bench, and that's about it. Agnello only played 12 times from the team he went to. Casarano, I think they were knocked out or eliminated, I don't know. Uh, Tarigi, we let go as well. To that same team, he's 36, he was not good enough. The board upset we didn't get a transfer fee, and I think, well, we weren't going to get too much more. And then he played once, and he did poorly for them. Uh, Nicola Mottateri, he went to an, the Chess Celebrities of, of all teams. I wasn't expecting that, but one of our regions going over there, or new gens, and Orestes Sicardo, I actually let him go on a free because I got really upset. I got angry because he was complaining about the fact I was criticizing his training a lot. Free determination, casual personality. I just thought, you know what, cut my losses. He's not good enough for the team anyway. I'm going to get rid of him. And I did. He's not, he hasn't got club still. So for me, I think it was the same. Actually, it was the same for you as well. Yeah, same for Montaneri. I let him go because he wasn't doing anything. He was not in the first team. wasn't in my first team plans. He was complaining about the fact I was complaining about his training. And his personal, his casual personality just really made me think, you're not worth my time to keep around. So bugger off. Go home. But yes, we got to the playoffs for the first time in the league. And for me, that was interesting. And the fact we got to the League of Pro, we were they were delighted to get to the second round. They didn't we they were only expecting us to get competitive. So the fact we got two places to the second round at least was pretty good for us. More than expected. Yes, we lost to Porta Dairy, who have yet to be knocked out. We'll go to the league after it's sorted out, like after the relegation playoffs have been sorted out, after all the promotion playoffs have been sorted out. We'll go back to the end of the season and see what happened there. But we're knocked out of the Coppa Italia Liga Pro as well. This would have gone us into the playoffs had we not got there by league performances. So we've got that to look forward to in the future as well. Home attendance uh, average of 2,000, 2,500. I'm not happy with the fact it's only 16% of people though, to be honest with you. But we need to do better in the future. And if we can do more, we can do more. Our biggest win was only 3-0. I didn't think it was only 3-0, but there you go. The win against Gabriel was the biggest win. And the match I remember was the one against Fizz Pesaba because it actually helped us start to get towards the promotion hunt again. And the goal that Antonucci scored against Modena was the goal of the season for the club. And honestly, I can't complain. It made sense. Uh, yes, so sponsorship. We actually lost about 400,000 overall. We lost about 100,000 in broadcast revenue as well. We've got more money in the corporate and hospitality suite as well as match day commercial and retail. We've got about 3000 there. Prize money, we never get prize money. Rokas' shirts, I didn't really play him this year, not gonna lie. He He's the top seller apparently, which is surprising. And we made about 25000 in merchandise, so yeah. This is our best lineup, and I'm gonna be honest, DBS to be the best left back makes sense. Martino was absolutely hopeless, and I think him being put back into that role was probably what let us down. I say that even as if Fantosi did not do the, the horror show of the century and Nicotre did not make a mistake. Nicotre and Fantosi were both players that made very bad mistakes. Fantosi was the highest assister, despite the fact he's a ball playing, a ball winning midfielder at heart, so he's definitely got something there. I think we can do more. If you look at the average racing for the left backs and the right backs, it's not good. With Gary being a 6.49 in a team, I'm not happy about that. I mean, that's concerning. It really is. But we need to work on this. Banny's not in the team in 11 because he's actually been injured for most of the season, which is a shame. We didn't have any rewards. Uh, Scafato was the player of the season for both young and overall. Antonucci goes to the top was the goal scorer that had the goal of the season. Gabata was a top goal scorer. Fantosi was a top assister. Gabata got the most player of the match awards and he was the highest average rating too. And he broke the most records for the most man player of the match awards in the season apparently with eight. Scott uh, Camanetti 
is now the top league appearance by a player with 248. Wilkes, his two goals, can maintain his record of most league goals by player with 88. And Barbeni got both the youngest player to ever play for us and the youngest ever goal scorer at the age of 15 years. So, the fact he came from our youth intake and he's already got those awards is pretty impressive, to say the least. And we actually got a record as well for selling new gates with seats, so that's very good. Only 5,000 more, but there we go. And now, overall best 11. Nardoza, Martina, Tuiki, Comanetti, Laneri, Nunes, Agnello, Bani, Rokas, and Leonis Capata all in there. And that's from one of the better lines that we started for quite a few years now, isn't it? But yeah, for the most part, our current tactic is literally just taking one of the strikers from the front and making them one of the fielders. It seems to be working now, but here we are. Um, I actually didn't show you this some of this stuff, so a lot of our players are here. All the players... Moldov is still a, a potential coach. Iliari retired after I got rid of him. So, if anything, the 107 appearances he got for us was a, pretty much a blessing in disguise. He got too many more appearances than he should have done. Mazza is at Pisa. He only played five times. I think he's going to be released at the end of the season. He's wanted by Foggia on a transfer. So, he might be going to Foggia, who are in the... Uh, in this, see the version of our leagues he's listed for loan i don't think he's signing a new contract because he's not being played that much which is a bit of a shame but most of the players are still here tattoo is actually our under 18's assistant manager and he's given us a lot of knowledge of argentina so that's great and i think he can help us with the training as well luca forte i already told you about now turning up at uh Toto. he's already plus two requirements according to the playing time and his contract ends next season, so... Ah! They're getting relegated, so he could probably help with them. Well, Leonardo Tarigi... He's leaving at the end of the season, I'm certain of it, unless he's retiring. He's not had the best of times at... Uh, Casarano, who were relegated. So, again, I'm not surprised that that was a thing they need to worry about. But yeah, they were relegated straight away, because they were so far behind uh, Juve, Sabia... I mean, anyone's seven times out of 41 matches. It makes sense that they'll do badly. And you know, he's, he's not even in the latest team either. So between himself and Agnello, that's pretty bad choices for career moves. I'm not going to complain, though. They, he played 11 times. He was hopeless. And he was, he's not anywhere near good enough anymore. I could see he's, he's listed for transfer. He's got a two-year deal. Why do they give him such a long deal? I mean, as a coach, he could be decent. But to read what your coach is like, because you're leaving it in the season. Yeah, you're not a director of football. What are you even doing? Why would you want that? It's got quite a hell of a reputation, though. Goodness, hang on. I'm going to check something. I want to check this out. I've got knowledge. Let me see. What would you bring me if I was to hire you as a coach? Because his determination and discipline would already get about one, two, one and a half stars in terms of accountability for his coaching stuff. And he's actually given me two and a half stars for defending. That's surprising me. I'm not going to lie. I, I generally wouldn't have thought that you get two and a half stars for possession, tactical and technical, while defending tactical and technical. So maybe he wouldn't be the worst coach in the world. I'll definitely hire him as a coach only and nothing more. But yeah, that's a thing. We definitely improved. And oh, we could literally look at that again. Cool. I did not know you could do that. But yes, passive in a clinicalness, we overachieved the goals scored, actual points, and actually for actual position was actually only two places lower, and that's where we fit. Wow, okay, I am i don't mind that, that's a good thing. Defensively, we're not great, that's my only concern. They want us to finish in the relegation playoffs again, and to repair the financial damage. I could do that. High tempo pressing football, that's pretty much what I do all the time. And we're going to tell the squad that we want to finish in the relegation playoffs. Where can, I, can, I take, can I see that? Can I see that? Yay! They actually are happy about this. Okay. Let's positive and say we'll give young players a chance. They love that, apart from DPS in the Larry. And I'm, I might reduce it. I'm not going to say anything else, but rather than that, but they're happy with the fact that I'm literally going to say, okay, young players a chance. 
I mean, Lanieri, to be honest with you, Lanieri is probably going to be one of the players I'll be looking to get rid of eventually. So, not surprised he's not happy about this. But yes, we've got a few pieces to work on. And if we look at our strengths and weaknesses, new team, season team report. Let's look at that actually, briefly. If we're looking at this, we've got to look at this and just say, we've got a few things we need to work on. Like if I want to make a bit of tactic or something, I would have to say work rate is definitely what we are very good at now. And we've got a lot of young prospects at the team. Reflexes is now a very good sign. Okay, interesting. But determination, is that good? I'm literally just typing this down as I look at it. But yeah, ref work rate is great. We've got reflexes up there as well. So the goalkeepers are really good reflexes. And command of it. Okay, so command of area is good. Free kick taking is also very is good as well. So I think that's the only one of three things. But this is stuff that we need to look into eventually. Like acceleration, agility, that's just not good. We're not good at that. Heading, passing, pace, not good at that either. Finishing, long shots, marking, decisions, port first touch, flair, strength, stamina, jumping reach, composure. We need to work on these things as well. But because it's such a young squad now, we could literally just say, yeah, this is a talented squad that could potentially be very good. Like, most of the team, if I was looking at all these positions, look how many of them would end up being, like, four or five stars now. That is kind of ridiculous when you look at it that way. And I look at this and I think, well, oh, this is a good team. I might generally be looking at bringing Tortelli into the first team and making it a first-choice goalkeeper next year. I really am thinking about it. So, that's potential ability. Current ability... I think Barbeni might be my first choice right back. And that says a lot because he's more of a centre back, but he looks he's got the role for it now. And um it's better than Cominetti, who I don't think would actually suit it as much. He's definitely my first choice centre back as well. Looking at the fence centre defenders, I think Rokas and Ruggeri we need to look at get rid of now. Kaluki, when he comes back from fitness, Sarpi, Badini, they are talented players that we should be looking into. Getting into the first team as well. Pellegrini is better. We should look to... Uh, Pellegrini we should look into making in the first team as well. Totelli, again, another player that we can literally look into and say, this is a guy that can do well. But again, we just need to look at this and say, that's a thing. But yeah, Barbeni is definitely more of a right back in suitability. So that's a thing we need to look into. Left back, I've kind of lost faith in Martina. So DPS will be the first choice. We'll have... Benici as a second choice, even though he's more of a winger, I think he can definitely play the role. And actually looking at right back as well, Gordano can definitely play the right back role as well. He's stunned. He is, it's one of his two areas he can play in. And I think we can definitely make that one of the things. And they got Baldinelli as well, who could potentially do it as well in the future. So we've got a lot of players that could definitely play in those roles. And we've got David Pellegrino. Is he great? No, but he can definitely become better. So right back, we're definitely stronger now. Defensive midfielder, we've got no Gabriel Nunes after the season. So Nicotre with the first choice here. We'll have to look at bringing in Bellerini and Cristiano in there. Escado and Barbeni. I can't see them having a very much a bright future anymore. They're not going to be good enough for the team. Delegato we'll need to bring into as well. He's only 15 though, so he's got plenty of time. Now we've got this role. Very much someone we've got a lot of strength in. And DPS could also play here too. We need to. Antonucci could play here. Bani might be someone we may need to look on to selling or getting rid of at some point. Though, despite the fact he's a good player, he's not getting any younger. He's not getting any, any much better as well. But then again, I say that we might need to start looking at potentially going to a different formation. Just having two players in this position instead of uh, three. Because striker wise, we're looking good. And we've got plenty of players that can get better and better. Scapato, Alioni isn't the best in potential. He's not going to be much better than this, I don't think. But you've got Fofana, who's going to be great. You've got Coyote, he's going to be good. But if we look at all positions. Then I think 
attacking midfielder, we might have to say the Skippy the role to look into potentially because we've got Fafana could play there, you got Coyote could play there, got Ferreira who could become a good player in this position. I think attacking midfielder could be a place to look into. Scopato is a, we've got wingers who can play there too. In inverted wingers, we want more than anything else. We've got players who can play in this position too, so wingers, inverted wingers. We've got a lot of strength and potential. And this role, we've got players who can play in here too. Same with the right side, though. I said the right. It's probably not as good as the right. To be honest with you, so the right side, no. Probably not looking at that and thinking we can make them really good here. But again, it's just we need to look at this and say... What point do we have to look at it and think, instead of going for this, we go for something like this? Because I think eventually we're going to have to look at it and say, this may be beyond us. I don't know. I'm just looking at this and thinking from a perspective sort of thing. We're going to go back to the end of the season and we'll talk more then, shall we? Uh, why? 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 Why did you do this? That we literally just... Can you got so many years in your contract still, like two more years. Come on, please. What can we do to keep hold of you? Why? We literally just got to our best position. You were the one who costs us a place, a chance to get promoted. Why are you going to go? You selfish. No, I'm not going to let him go. He's just too important. I'm just... I mean... Yeah, I, I'm not going to let him go. He's literally outright said, okay, I'm win I want to go to a new club. But he's the one who cost us. He cost us. Of course, I'm not going to let him go straight away. For goodness sake. Watch us. What's the board now outright saying if we're going to lose him now? Honestly, that, that, that would be the icing the cake, wouldn't it? It really would be. Oh, look. Maz has signed a new contract. So he's staying for another two years. Okay, good for him. I just wish he stayed with us. Honestly, that, that, that's just, that just hurts. Oh, well. Okay, so we've already been hit by a tax bill. And we seem like we're not going to get as much money again. Oh, wow. Okay, the wages are 22,500. That's a bit of a hit. But not a lot. But of transfer budget's gone down to 82,000. We've got a wage... Okay, we're currently spending 24000 a week. This is a huge hit. I didn't think it would be this big of a hit. We may need to actually let go of players in the future just to accommodate this. Wow, okay. Um, I'm also going to trigger an extension clause because he's got an extension clause. He, didn't, he forgot about that, didn't he? The silly bugger. <laughs> Yay. They think I've already done a six-year ahead of schedule. Nice for them to acknowledge that. Shame and also extension for his claws. Ha <laughs> ha. Dumbass. Ladies and gentlemen, the promotion and relegation players have been done. San Benedeste, our rivals, have been relegated despite the fact we couldn't do ourselves in the last video. And Sub will actually do go up with Agenia after winning the playoff final against Eveloni. Eveloni? Evelino. Evelino? Eveloni? I, I don't know how to say that name, but. Let's just say the team that finished in third place couldn't get promoted, and we've got two teams from our division going up this year. So it's good times. It's really good times. I will have to say, finding out that we're having our wages and transfer budget cut is a bit surprising. I suppose I shouldn't be too surprised, but I guess I should have waited a bit for the. Mm, I, I may have may have messed up potentially with the idea that the youth setup was going to be as price as it is, as well as the training facilities. I don't know why I could have done more. Um, so, yeah, I've kind of made a point in saying, if you're not going to give me that, I'm just going to take all the wage transfer budget and make it into nothing and just have wage budget instead. I don't make signing, so it works for me. Either way, committed spending, it's going to be about 20,500 because of the players we're letting go. We're going to let's we put some players on the transfer market, like Rokus, for example. He's on the transfer market now. £950 a week. Not really do much with him. Um, we're going to let... Marcelo on the transfer market too. I don't really play him. He's only played five times. I don't really see him improving either. So again, a player that's going to go on the transfer list for now. As is Confasano. Again, someone we're not going to play a lot of. And he's only made five appearances for me since he signed. I just don't see him doing much more than that. 
Either way, I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys have enjoyed yourselves. Hope you guys have liked and shared this video and that you subscribe to my channel. Apologies if this ends up being a long video. I can't tell if it is yet, but let's just say I've got to get through a lot to give you what you want. Either way, I'll see you next time. But until then, goodbye and good night.